This concrete footbridge at Camp Pendleton in California doesn't look extraordinary, but it is. That's because it's made with a special 3D printer. The first marine logistics group used 3D technology, some gravel and other heavy materials to create this bridge from scratch. Print timeline, it took us three days to actually initiate the print and then complete each individual piece was three days in total. It took another two days to transport and install the bridge. Normally, it would take 10 days to build a bridge like that, say military officials. Benjamin Sapanaro with the Marine 7th Engineer Support Battalion explains how it works. So this is our S6. So it operates by itself using the control. You don't have to put your hands out it at all. It rotates, it can measure whole fields. It can do a surface scan, designing everything in its way. This large remote controls the machine. It gathers measurements, relays it to a computer, which creates a blueprint of the bridge. Adjustments are made as needed, and the final 3D project is sent to the giant 3D printer. It gets to work, creating one layer of the bridge at a time. And that program will essentially deconstruct the shape into those different layers, so that it plans it out for the machine to go in each one and the different paths that it has to take in order to, uh, to build the entire uh, structure you see here. Instead of ink, the printer uses concrete with bits of gravel and other heavy materials. Instead of an ink cartridge, a large metal tube. The process isn't fully automated yet, and several officers monitor the process and make adjustments as necessary. Still, creating a 3D bridge is a lot less labor-intensive and costly than building one the traditional way, officials say. This whole bridge was eight and a half to nine cubic yards, so the whole bridge is about less than $1,000. Replacement bridges that can span the same gap that were used similarly, similarly in Afghanistan costs upwards of $75,000. The technology can be used in multiple ways. In a tactical situation, if we needed to cross over a gap and move people that are foot mobile, we could print this bridge and actually put it in place. From a humanitarian standpoint, if we went in to do disaster relief and we needed a bridge that needed to stay for the locals to use, again, we could print the exact same design with fewer Marines, with less materials. Military officials say they plan to start using this technology soon, both at sea and on land. For Kristina Shevchenko in Camp Pendleton, California, NRI's VOA News.